Welcome to 2023 with Agnes Kunkel. Find out what the world might look like in spring 2023. We ask experts what the future may hold and how we will need to adapt. 2023, your window to a world beyond COVID-19. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, friends and followers of this podcast 2023, Mankind Will Survive. I'm honored and pleased to introduce to you Dr. Agnes Kunkel. Agnes has been working for McKinsey and other major auditing and consulting companies, as well as a consultant for leadership, communication and negotiation for many years. She lives in the Greater Munich area with her husband and her mother. Her mother will celebrate her 99th birthday in a few weeks from now. Agnes is the initiator of this podcast and in today's issue she will tell you what we have to expect. We will talk about her motives, topics and her plans. So, welcome Agnes. What are you going to talk to us about? Hi Stefan and a warm welcome to everyone from my side. 2023 Mankind Will Survive is a podcast about positive transformation. You might be surprised to hear these words as we are midst in a deep crisis. Here in Germany, we are now in the sixth week of curfew and have nearly lost 6,000 lives. All around the world, more than 200,000 people have died. That's very tragic and very sad. And all the media is just covering these tragic stories from Italy, UK, New York, and during the last days from Brazil. And in this situation, we want to be a voice of positive transformation. Twice a week, we will host a guest and these guests will bring their personal view on life after the pandemic to our stage. Why 2023? 2023, I think that's a good year as a few things we know quite well now. 2020, that's the year of the pandemic. All over the world, we have one priority, saving lives. And in so many countries, we have such a difficult economic situation in so many areas of the economy. But everyone has the same idea. We want to put economy second. This is a very interesting change, what we will discuss intensely with our guests in the podcast. And... We have trustworthy news that first simple vaccines will be ready for use in many countries as soon as fall 2020. So in this case, in the year 2021, we will be able to overcome the medical threat of the pandemic in 2021. This means in 2022, our societies will swing back to a new normal and in 2023, in the spring of 2023, we will finally be able to differentiate what are measures just occurring during the pandemic, like closing public playgrounds for little children, and what are new trends may be transforming our life as this absolutely new dimension of use of video conferencing in the business life and now also in the private life. And why mankind will survive? Okay, it's about positive things and we all know COVID-19 is not a hyper Ebola, so this is not a threat to mankind. But it's a question of how will be the quality of survival. And my conviction is the year 2020 and especially the year 2021 will be a crucial tipping point for this quality of survival. And it will be a crucial tipping point for society, mankind and probably our planet Earth. In these years we may have the chance to open up a path to a completely new quality of life in hopefully most regions of the world. 
Many things that have been seemed to be set in stone, they are now up for discussion and they are thrown in the balance for a new objective, health and survival of at-risk groups, really absolutely new idea to societies. And we have completely new dimensions of thinking that we are now ready to explore. For these new thoughts and horizons, we want to give a stage in this podcast. And on the hand, simultaneously, inconceivable amounts of money are being poured into the economy. What will we do with this huge amount of money? In what kind of future will our societies invest? 2023, mankind will survive will create a platform for those who are affected by the pandemic and the future changes, experts and thought leaders. So many things you would never have been dared to ask for seem now possible all of a sudden. Just to give an example, nearly no more business trips around the world and world economy didn't collapse. I think much in contrast, brilliant people now have time to think about problems and to figure out breakthrough innovations instead of wasting their time in check-in areas, planes or cars. So this podcast will open a kind of window to your daily life after COVID-19. Can you give us a few examples for that? Yes, we are now heading for summer and holiday season, so we will make an episode about holidays. What will we do in 23? Are we again flocking to beaches in summer and skiing resorts in winter for partying? Hmm, we will have to discuss this. Or health systems. Do we really want to change something or is clapping for care workers long forgotten in 2023? Home office. Everyone is now in home office. Will this be the new normal? I think we will see a lot of changes in this area regarding home office. And I think we will not return to our offices downtown as we did before. Architecture, urban planning. Typically after pandemics, we had a new way of thinking in these areas. And I think we will see similar ideas and similar trends after this pandemic too. So. What will be special about 2023, Mankind Will Survive? I am curious about the details. How is it to be wake up in spring 2023? What are your pleasures you are thinking about? What are your little fears? How is it when you go to your wardrobe or when you go to the kitchen and you make your breakfast? What does it mean to go to work in 2023? Do you head for public transport or do you just go over to the next room and say hello to your computer? How do we work together and collaborate in our companies? How do we talk each other, the managers to the employees and vice versa? And of course, holidays. What plans do we have and how do we organize that? And now I'm curious about an outlook into the topics of the coming episodes. What may we expect? We are working on episodes about travel, holiday, home office, cybersecurity and maybe fashion. Later on we will talk about topics like economic support programs, different branches in the economy, arts, the way of living of elderly people, public transport and schools. What will a typical podcast episode look like? Each episode will start with an imaginative trip to spring 2023 and the new way of living in these new times. Then we will discuss this scenario with our guest. What's the rationale behind the scenario? What are the odds that it might come true? Will it in 2023 be fully realized? Or do we just see the early beginning of a new development that then might dominate the years coming? Tell me, who's behind the podcast? How are you financed? The podcast is a pro bono initiative of Dr. Kunkel GmbH. The team behind the podcast is our editor, Stephanie, a native German now living in Sao Paulo, Brazil. 
our researcher Stefan in Serbia and Salma in Cairo. Salma is responsible for the organizational structure of the project. And it's me here in Munich, the head of imagination and creative ideas. Our team of mostly young people is keen to help putting our world back on track. Where do we stand right now regarding the podcast? We hope to start very soon with the regular episodes. Stephanie is working on the first scenarios and the topics we want to present in the first episodes. Stefan is hard working on doing top research to fill the podcast with sound knowledge and interesting facts. Selma is hard working in Cairo to establish relations to interesting people around the world, which we want to host as our guests in the episodes. We hope for that we can publish the first episodes in two to three weeks. How will your podcast develop in the future? Are there any other projects planned? We are currently thinking about publishing a book where we put together all these nice scenarios about the future, the discussions with our guests and the findings we made together. Will this close the podcast series? No, not necessarily. We want to continue till spring 2023 and then step by step observe in which areas our scenarios were becoming true and where we missed the point. And how about your own quarantine right now? What did change for your daily life? I'm quite surprised. Curfew didn't bother me that much. As with my mother nearly 99 years old and highly at risk, we started our personal security measures as early as 20, 22nd of February. We take curfew very strict. No one enters our home or does leave it since 16th of March. Shopping for food and other groceries are now very different. We have a custom to buy food only online, an idea which I would have refused intensely till a few weeks ago. Now hunting for delivery slots in the near future is a new hobby. Anything you want to share with the audience? Some last words for now? I believe we were already facing a period of major transformation before COVID-19 crisis started. So far, we had only scratched the productivity gains from modern technology like artificial intelligence. And we had already realized that the supply chains were full of bottlenecks and that we had to mitigate these risks. In my view, COVID-19 opens widely up the doors and windows for a future that had already knocked on our doors before the crisis started. And now, the fruits of transformation are harvested much faster. Thank you very much, Agnes, and bye-bye to everybody. Thanks for listening, take care and stay healthy. You have been listening to 2023. You can find even more material, including transcripts of our interviews on our website at 20-23.earth. Please keep in mind, this podcast is opinion. We work hard to get our facts right. If you find something that can be corrected or improved, please email us at hello at 20-23.earth to get in touch with your comments or ideas or if you would like to be a guest on the show just email hello at 20-23.earth stay safe and there will be springtime in 2023